The number of cases of COVID-19 is on the rise in the United States, but so too is misinformation surrounding the virus. This photo, published in a number of tabloid newspapers, purported to show evidence of corpse burning in Wuhan, China, and a cover-up by the Chinese government. Except that wasn't true at all. The images used were simply forecasts based on weather patterns, leading some of the newspapers to retract the stories. There were also claims that COVID-19 was an artificially produced bioweapon by the Chinese government. Also not true. That rumour led to a move by 27 prominent scientists signing a statement of support for their Chinese colleagues and dismissing the claims. Everything from it actually was an experiment gone wrong by the Chinese government to it was actually an experiment gone wrong by the US government. Nathan Walter is an assistant professor at the Department of Communication Studies at Northwestern University. So as soon as the misinformation is out there, trying to correct it is almost a lost cause. And just because the misinformation piece is so much more attractive, so much more viral, so much um, uh, more interesting than the dry facts. The US State Department reports that thousands of fake social media accounts have been set up to promote the conspiracies. The misinformation that is posted about COVID-19 has very real consequences. Since the outbreak, reports of discrimination against Chinese, Chinese Americans and Asians as a whole are way up, with some reporting physical abuse. Despite efforts by authorities, businesses in Chicago's Chinatown have struggled since the outbreak began. Some report a drop of some 50 to 60 percent in revenues. Dr. Kim T is a prominent community figure in Chicago's Chinatown. Unfortunately, the, the COVID uh, virus uh, affecting severely in uh, the Chicago Chinatown that uh, turned into a ghost town. Uh, so I think people uh, with the hysteria and a lot of xenophobia, they're creating all these uh, chaotic uh, situations. This video shows a man's racist rant about coronavirus and Chinese people on a subway train. It was aimed at a Thai American. Obviously this outbreak is not happening in a vacuum. So there's already xenophobia and there's already people with negative attitude toward other nationalities or other people. And then when you have this event, from their perspective, it's very tempting just to use it as weapon against the people that they already dislike. An old saying goes, a lie can get halfway around the world before the truth can get its boots on. As relevant today as ever. Dan Williams, CGTN, Chicago.